we currently live in a real life sci-fi movie with some mm. very disturbing technology, right? Um, can you talk about nanobots, edible humans, the palm readers in stores, and this Neuralink recognition? Mm. Um, I just want you to break down like what's the manufacturer's reason for creating this product and the possible dangers of the product starting with nanobots. Let me give you what they're saying. You know, the, the good old commercialized, very innocent reason that they're saying we've created nanobots and nanoparticle technology. One, it's to help humanity to uh, kill cancer cells is one major reason. To find out different things happening in the body before they become an actual problem. To point out, you know, tumor forming cells, etc. Things that are possibly happening in the body before we become notified on the outside. Those nanobots can go in, detect it, find it, locate it, kill it, boom, will help us to prevent any potential issues. Okay, that sounds nice. Another thing, uh, it's to help with the stimulation of the nervous system, to help to rebuild cells, damaged cells, cells within the eyes, the retinas, specifically for a lot of blind people they have, they're looking at studies dealing with that, for paraplegic and quadriplegic people, the disconnections or the damaged uh, nerve endings in specific parts of the nervous system, looking at how we can use nanobots to repair the nervous system. Okay, sounds innocent. Same thing with brain cells. Potential people who are leaning into Alzheimer's and they're having early onset dementia, we're gonna use these nanobots to go in and potentially repair the cells to help them to live longer, to have a well-standing memory. Okay, so, so all that sounds nice. Okay, here's the other side that they're not telling people. For example, Neuralink that specifically is talking about placing chips in the brain company that's oh, that was wild when I heard oh yeah I heard that one that was pretty wild man oh we'll yeah continue, yeah Elon Musk and his company that has primarily experimented using monkeys with these chips in the brain he's saying that Neuralink is being developed for specifically paraplegic people quadriplegic people people who can't walk can't use their arms or legs okay Alzheimer's also I think uh, uh, Alzheimer's yes yeah. Alzheimer's also and they're adding a list of things that can potentially be helped uh, with this brain chip okay some people have seen the movie Total Recall some people have seen the movie Minority Report some people have seen different movies where they always have this fascination with the brain you know, memories, personalities, injecting personalities, taking them out, etc. Okay, the Neuralink capability is going to allow you, according to what they're saying, to enter the different computer, you know, uh, mainframes, enter social media, interface and connect with technology without having to physically touch it. Text people by thought, make calls by thought, audits, make posts by thought. Okay, sounds, sounds dope for some people. Oh man, oh, this is dope, it's the future, okay. What's stopping them or preventing them from invading your brain, taking information out? They're going to be downloading all the data. Come on, that's really? Your brain, so Bro, that's, that's what I continue to Please, saying. I mean, come on. Now. If you are interested in me saying, I want to help life easier for you, I want to make life so much easier. I want you to be able to make a post without touching your phone. Okay, you're not, see, we're not being real intelligent here. A group of people or a government that has that type of technology can use it for drones. They can use it for weapons. See, they, the government is always using, they're looking at the military side of things, the military aspect. How can we use this to increase our power dynamic? That's how they're gonna use it. It ain't about making a person walk because you would prevent all the things that make it to where a person can't walk. You would stop selling them pharmaceutical drugs that have side effects that damage the nervous system. You would stop legalizing a lot of the other drugs that damage the brain, damage the spine, etc. You would start there right if you really cared but you're saying well you know what let's go ahead and create this do these different things it's not entirely kosher it's not entirely innocent like they make it out to be it has everything to do more so with control then you have certain people who work for these companies who genuinely want to help humanity evolve and advance you do you have some good people who want to do good things some but i don't believe that those at the top have that innocent idea about it i doubt that but i do believe there are some good people involved in technology involved in these areas of robots and all that who want to help humanity who want to say you know what if I can put on this suit this robotic suit that helps me to lift 500 pound things or jump over buildings you got people who are really involved in that but the other end like the movie I Robot one of the greatest documentaries ever told uh, is when Will Smith said oh that's just stupid you he handed the world over to a bunch of artificially intelligent robotic humanoid individuals and you're saying that's smart 
you have a, a uh, robot called Osimo, I believe. It's one of the robots that Elon Musk has developed. Autonomous, robotic, human being. Walk, talk. They've been, they've been advancing it. They've been working on it, working on it. The goal is for him to be able to supply one to every home for under 30 grand. Same way our robot did. They are quickly advancing this thing. And they're very serious. And by 2030, roughly 2030, maybe 2035, the majority of warehouse jobs, security jobs, any type of jobs like that will be wiped out. Why? Because why would you continue to pay a human being, have liability insurance to cover them, and all these potential issues, potentials of being sued and all that? Why would you worry about that when you could just pay for one robot and just pay for general maintenance and not have to worry about it to handle those jobs? You know, it's wild, bro. It's sad. It's It's real. I was I was watching the throwback of Family Mem- Family Matters and I had to check the year. It was a 1992 episode or 93 when Urko had uh, and the, he used the word artificial intelligence. Yes, bro. I thought that was pretty wild. Steve Urkel, man, yeah. Jaleel White knew it. He was on point. He really played that role very well, and they put a lot of highly intellectual maneuvers in there. Not only with the time machine, but with his vehicle, his car. Like, he was very. I was like, yeah, they, they were dropping some heavy jewels in that movie. And the, robot, that, that the robot was very manipulative and very uh, evil in a sense. Like, very yes. strategic, you know? So I remember that, for yes. For a, a, a kid's a family <laughs> TV show, you know? So, yes, yes. Uh,